Whisper. Okay. Whisper okay. until we know. I think. I think. Are you waiting? I don't know. Waiting for it? Waiting. Shouldn't be waiting. Waiting. Bueller? You might have to do this. Bueller. Why is it not working? Why it be? If, you think if you tap on it, it I makes, think so. It makes it go faster. I think, yeah. And if you whisper, it's a, I'm still whispering. Oh. Try and cancel out and go back in. It says upcoming. Oh, I think it has been whispering. I don't know. I guess we're on the air. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Should we get this show started? Yeah, let's okay. get this party started. I have to push a button or something. Yeah, push a bunch, bunch of them. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends the world over, thank you for joining us today and welcome to episode number 40. 40? Number 40 of the absolutely amazing series known as Butcher Shop Television. Today is Wednesday, December 27th, 2023. Last time I'm going to say that. Yeah. 2023. And we are broadcasting live from smack dab in the middle of Jacob's Meat Market in Appleton, Wisconsin. My name is Eric and with me, of course, the star of the show, the man himself, the mayor of Meatville, Luke Jacobs. Eric. How are you? Oh, what's I'm What's new? Fantastic. What's exciting? What's oh. different? I mean, look at the store. I know, they just cleared out. I <laughs> said, we gotta, we gotta do a show. <laughs> it is so different than could, last week. Could you all leave, please? Right, right. <laughs> did you have a Merry Christmas? I did have a Merry Christmas. Were you married? Yes. Oh, I was you married. Were married. Yes, I still am. Still am? Yeah, why stop now? Why stop? You're always married. Right. Yeah, you're jovial. Jovial, you yes. jovial. Yes. Anything else you wanna add? You were a little late today. Um, did I, I, you? Everybody should know that it was his fault. It was definitely my fault, I was on the phone. That's okay. Couldn't get off the That's phone. That's okay. We'll wait for you. Um, I have a, a special surprise for you. For me? Yeah. Santa stopped by. Santa stopped by? Yeah. Here? Here, yeah. I saw him. You did? Yeah. Last did he give you anything? Because he dropped something off for me to... No, he didn't. Certainly give it to you. Oh, no. Here it comes. What have we got? Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Be right back. See ya. I'm out of here. I wonder if he remembers that your microphone goes with you. I was wondering what you were gonna say. Yeah, I wasn't oh, gonna say anything. I, Look at that. Is there a potato in here? <laughs> I don't know. I think am you I should. Supposed, I think you I should open, to open it up this live, right now? live on BSTV. <laughs> I can't even. What is this? What is it? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't even know if you would know what it was once you opened it. <sighs> okay. They can't see me. They can't. It feels like a, a nerf. Something. A nerf something. A nerf. It says nerf on it. Nerf, yes. Oh, touched. Oh, you, that's my cheat sheet, is it's it? It's your cheat Touch sheet. Touchdown, yeah. six points. Field goal, three points. Safety is two points. Extra point, kick, one point. What does that say? Gur point. Extra. Oh, extra point, non kick is two points. Yes. So you kick it, you get one. Oh, this right. is after you make right. Yeah, uh, that's a two-point conversion. Okay, right. two-point right. conversion. That's two Eric's points. football cheat sheet. It even says cheat sheet. <laughs> How I about to, that? I have to thank Sandra for so this. You, so you can't play with it very much because otherwise it'll just rub I'll off. I'll take a picture. Right. Yes, you should. Yes. Or I, should I just carry this with me wherever or, I go? Or, yeah, wherever you're going to watch a football game, I guess. Oh, I have to find Sandra and say thank yes. you. Was not and maybe they can screenshot it if, we, if they want. If they want oh, yeah, the cheat in case sheet. other people need yeah. it. Right. Not many people from Wisconsin need that. Probably not. No. Probably not. No. It's a very popular sport. Right. There's more stuff in here. There is. There's more stuff. Oh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation chocolate. Chocolate bar, yes. So this came from Santa. Santa, yes. Isn't that what I Santa said? Santa Jacobs. Melt oh. away Santas. Poor things. You don't have to melt them away, I guess, if you don't want to. Is today Christmas? No, it's, it's the 27th. Well, you didn't get it. Santa. You didn't Santa, get your, you chocolate. didn't open your stocking. Somebody knows I like chocolate. What's it? A Dove bar. A Dove bar. Peanut butter. Mm. Peanut butter, yes. What's this? A potato. Somebody knows me. A I potato, got a potato. yeah. Somebody, I think Santa was watching. I will have to. Santa watches BSTV. I'm sure he does. Yes, he does. I will have to thank Santa. He's probably, he's probably relaxing right I, now after... I came to the store yesterday, you know. 
Yeah. You, you weren't here. You took Correct. a day off. I did. Uh, much deserved. Sure. And I bought a potato because I didn't get a potato. Now I got a potato. Do you want to return the potato no. that you bought yesterday? I ate that one. Oh, you, <laughs> yeah, you're not returning that. I ate that, that one. <laughs> All right, that's it. So uh, we'll Santa, see you next so week. Santa, yeah, right, right. Uh, so Santa came. Can you believe that? Look at that stocking. Look at that stocking. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me that he would look for me here. Right. This is where I am when he watches BSTV. Uh, yes, of course. Where were we? The, um, <laughs> smack dab in the middle <laughs> of Jacob's <laughs> Meat Market. Market. Yes. How about all that stuff, huh? Santa so knows candy. you. Yes, apparently so. Santa knows you. Knows what I don't know? Right. Yeah. I don't think I could have filled out that cheat sheet without No. It. I no, would have I had sh some of it. I should have I had, I should I had, had some pre. Of it. You should have, yes, yes. You should have. Yes, pre football, post football. Shall we continue? Yes, absolutely. I'll tell everybody what we're going to do. Okay. What I think we're going to do, because okay. that was a surprise. <laughs> we will go over our location, any news that we might have, the Meat Market Mailer, Jacob's Meat Market New Year's Offerings. Yes. Special upcoming days, a winner of last week's contest. Plus, would you like to do a new contest? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Let's move it right along. Luke, for the benefit of anyone who may not know, where are we? All right. For the benefit of anybody that doesn't tune in weekly, uh, we are at Jacob's Meat Market, uh, halfway between College Avenue and Wisconsin Avenue, College Avenue Wisconsin. right on Law Street, Law with an E, on the corner of Law and Pacific, Law and Pacific. in Appleton, Wisconsin. Yeah. Nice location. It's nice beautiful. location. It's a beautiful there. location. Do you have any news? I do. What is it? Today is my youngest daughter's birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday, Allie. Happy I'm birthday. I'm sure she's watching she's right watching? now. Yes. She's home from school. Yeah. As are the other two. Uh, I'm sure she's tuning in right now. So happy birthday, Allie. Happy birthday. You should be here doing the show. You should. You can just get yeah, rid of him. With your birthday hat on. <laughs> happy birthday. You're going to sing? So happy birthday. Ahead, I did sing to her oh. already. I didn't have the camera Twice. on. Twice. Twice. Once when, I, once when I woke her up and once when I sang to her with her birthday candle in her donut this morning. So she's having a really good birthday. Oh, yeah. Excellent. It's a great start. Except for me waking her up. Well, that's She'll your get job, over it. though. She'll it's get over her birthday. It. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Sorry, that's what you have to do. <laughs> I thought you might tell everyone about the upcoming hours because they're a little different. Wonky? Uh, wonky? Different? Yeah, wonky. Uh, they're not usual. Right. Because today's so Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we're open our regular hour, 8 to 6. 8 to 6. And then Saturday, which is uh, the 30th, um, is uh, 8 to 4. Usually it'd be 8 to 6. Usually 8 to 6, but, but we close up two hours early because it's... Uh, day or so before a holiday. Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah, yes. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Eve. Yes, yes. That's what you did last Saturday. Yes, correct. Yeah, okay. Correct. Uh, no singers, no Santa or anything like that on Saturday, but just the good old-fashioned butchers here at Jacob's. Good old-fashioned. Yes. Uh, and then <laughs> and then uh, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, so the 31st, uh -huh. the 1st, and the 2nd, we are closed. So you're usually closed on Sunday. Sunday, and yeah. And I understand why you're closed on the first. That's a holiday. Right. The second as well? Yeah. The neighborhood will starve. Well, if they watch Stock this, up. they know they, they will up. know our hours and they will not be able to they will not be at the doors pushing. They might still. They might just yes. in case somebody's here. Right. All right. right. So Saturday you close at four. Yep. And then you don't come back till Wednesday. That's Correct. In, Wednesday in, morning, eight o'clock. In a nutshell. And then you're Regular hours. Regular hours till okay. Easter or something. Uh, that might yeah. have that might have been in the email I received this morning. Oh, did you receive with, an email? I did you from did. you actually. Really? It, it was with this week's New Year's offerings. Yes. Um, and what else did it have in it? Uh, uh, words from you, words from Luke, and a little joke at the bottom. Yeah. I, yes. No. Just what? making sure my phone doesn't go on. <laughs> oh, okay. On a you're pointing at something. No. Um, and I am privileged to get that email. I also get one. How much on do you get? How much do you charge for that? The privilege of, of, of receiving the email every week. Two nothing. emails. Nothing. 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 Oh, I thought we would charge for that. To, for a yeah, I charge you. Fee. To, yeah. We should we should charge a subscription fee to the It's to free. The email it's free. It's How free? do people sign up for this? Uh, right it on is, our website. It's worth it. On our website, you Jacob's have a website? Oh. Yes. Yes. So I, modern. Yes, so modern. <laughs> on the World Wide Web, yes. So I'm at yes. your website? Yes, jacobsmarket.com. Yeah. On the right-hand side of every single page. Every single page. Yes. Uh, there's a text box that you can just fill out your email, click Submit, and you're part of the you're, club. You're in. You're in. You're part of the Meat Market Mailer. And, and, and that mailer is growing because we keep talking about it. Right. And, and it, it, 
I mean, it's it's worth it. I got the ad this morning, and I said that's that's a really good job. Yes. I don't know who you got doing it, but it's fantastic. I wish and, I knew. I, <laughs> um, I suppose we're going to go over them. Yes, we are. The New Year's offerings. But before yes. we do, do you have a joke? Uh, I do have a joke. Surprisingly. Uh, why do cows wear bells? Why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. Because their horns don't work. Yeah. Is that a New Year's joke? Yes. Okay. Yeah, very, very close. I brought one. Would you like to hear it? Yeah, I would love to hear it. What is the worst part of jogging on New Year's Eve? Jogging on New Year's Eve? Yeah. I'm not sure. The ice keeps falling out of your drink. Oh. But I'm, oh. <sighs> no. I hate that when that happens. Yeah. How many people does I it take? Beer. I have. A, I brought a second one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I drink beer <laughs> on the rocks. Yeah, so the ice doesn't fall out. How many people does it take to have a New Year's Eve party? I'm going to guess one. My answer is two and a fifth. Two what? Two and a fifth. Two and, two and a fifth. fifth. Oh, I'm trying okay. to enunciate. <laughs> got it. Two and a fifth. Got it. What have you got this week? I have buttons here. All right, yes. My yes. first one says PR. Yes, prime rib, prime I believe rib. that is. Yes. It doesn't work, one, but it it's says... It's the one right next to it. Pretend it says prime rib underneath it. It's the one right next to it. Did you I push the wrong one? Yeah, you pushed the, push the, the blank one. Here. Well, you, you know, you were late. One. You yeah. were late. Yeah, that's I right. I didn't have time to practice. Right. <laughs> Pushing buttons. Pushing buttons. Yeah. Yes. I knew you were going to go there. Right, right. right. Uh, so we have a USDA choice uh, bone-in prime rib for $17.99 a pound. Uh, prime rib for cooking for, uh, for large... Cooking. Oh, there's a roast. Yeah, okay. yes. Prime rib roast, yes. Um, for cooking for, you know, two to 15 or people. Maybe just for myself. Or one, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you could do that. That would be more like a steak, but but you could do a, a smaller roast for one if you'd like. Remember I said I got a potato yesterday? Yeah. Oh, yeah I got a prime right. rib to go with it. Prime know? rib and oh, a potato. Yeah, a potato. yeah, right, right. Yeah, well, so uh, $17.99 a pound. Seventeen ninety nine a pound. Yes. Yep. Uh, we have USDA Choice Boneless Prime Rib uh, Roast as well for eighteen ninety nine. Same thing, but bone's been taken out. Correct. Okay. Correct. So, so I can it starts with the bone, and then we take the you bone take out. You take the bone out yeah. and throw it away. Right. Throw it away. Yeah. Okay. I've got, my button says tender. Yes, uh, we have beef tenderloin on sale. The oh. whole tenderloins are $17.99 a pound, and the uh, steaks are $18.99 a pound. What is a tenderloin? A tenderloin is the most tender part of the whole cow. Okay. Um, it's the, the opposite side of the uh, New York Strip on the porterhouse steak. Um, so it's it's the most tender. Oh, it's, that, it's part of a porterhouse steak. Correct. Okay. Correct, yep. Um, and it's boneless, um, so you can take the whole one and cook it as a roast. Um, as we did for our uh, family um, Christmas. Yeah, two ten, tenderloin, ago. the whole thing is yeah. delicious. Yes, it is. But you can slice uh, the it whole too, one, right? Correct. correct. You, can, you can cook it whole and then slice it, or you can slice it for steaks um, and then cook it on the grill or bake it in the oven or however, sous vide, however you like to do it. What's that? Sous vide? Yeah. Uh, that's when you cook it in a bag, basically, and then you put, put a probe in there and you... Um, and you make sure that you get it to the proper temperature that you're looking for. You just put the bag in the oven? Yes. I and to put it in, in a roasting water. pan and in, in water, yes. <laughs> Why did you ask you if you already know? It's testing you. Yeah, it's okay. I, I didn't pass today. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. My brother-in-law does because that. Because I'm not an expert, but I thought it was in water. Right. Maybe you can do it in the oven. Uh, it's Shake usually, and bake. Yeah, yeah. You can, do what, you can do whatever you want. See, we should practice before we do this. We should. We should. We should. I'm going to go to this button that says shrimp. Yes. Uh, so we have some frozen golf shrimp for fourteen ninety nine a pound. I can see them. You can. They're, Are they still frozen? They look kind of frozen. -ish. Yes. Yes. Right. And right. They look largish. Yes. They are uh, twenty one to thirty count. Twenty one to thirty u. Yes. So that means They're you get twenty one to thirty per, per pound? pound. Correct. Yep. A lot of people don't know that. That that's how they that's how they size them. I know that that's, that's how, how they, they size them, but I don't think I know what the u is. Oh, is it like 30 U is 30 or under per pound? Correct. Yep. Okay, 21 to 30 yep. un or under per pound. So right. it could be six. Could be but six. But it isn't. But it's, it's going to be not, between 21 and 30. Right, no. right. Yes, yes. Uh, so those are 14 99 a pound. They're wild golf shrimp. So they're not farm raised. They're not from Indonesia. They're not the from. Best kind. Right. Which Gulf? Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico? Yes. Oh. Yeah. We were going to do the Gulf of. Can you think of another? Gibraltar? One? Yeah. <laughs> That's a rock. <laughs> the Gibraltar rock? The Rock of Gibraltar. Oh. Leads uh, to the Mediterranean. Yeah, I suppose the. Yeah, I can't think of another. Gulf of Gulf. California? Is that the Baja Peninsula? Just between it and the mainland? Okay. Yeah, okay. Gulf of yeah. California. Yeah. 
But that's the Gulf of Mexico. Correct, on the other side of Mexico. <laughs> the other side of Mexico. We are going to lobster yes, now. Yes, yes. Uh, so we kind. have some cold rock lobster tails for $29.99 a pound. Is it cold rock lobster or cold water? It's cold water. A cold water rock lobster. Yeah. So they come with water. They come with water, they yes. They come with water. And yeah. it's cold. And it's cold, yes. Are they frozen? Frozen, yes. Frozen, okay. Yes. They come in a different, couple different sizes. Yes, uh, five to six ounces or eight to ten ounces. A lot of people do the five to six ounces if they're doing like a surf and turf type thing. And who wouldn't? Right, who wouldn't who for wouldn't? New Year's? It's a yeah. pretty popular thing for New Year's. Yeah. So five to six ounces or eight to ten ounces are twenty nine ninety nine pound. Regardless of the size, it's per pound. Irregardless, oh, right. Irregardless. I would do the eight to ten ounce plus a prime rib roast. You would? Uh, yeah, just put the bone. And the, the potato? Bone. Or not, potato. not enough room have for to have a potato. potato. Yeah. Even if it's just sitting there. Yeah? yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't so, even cook okay. it? Don't. <laughs> well, then it would just sit there. Right, then it right. Would just sit there. Yes. Uh, prime rib, boneless prime rib, beef tenderloin, gulf shrimp, rock lobster tails. One more item. Yes. Ground round. Ground round, yes. Which uh, I mistakenly put for a dollar more than what a regular price is. Would you like to correct that? So you can either. So it's a it's a pick your price type deal for the con, for pick the your consumer. Price. Yeah. Would you like either, the lower either price? Either six ninety nine or seven ninety nine a pound. It's great for cannibal sandwiches. Which is? Which is a raw? Yeah, yeah we, we've a, had this conversation. Yes. Yes. We don't have to do that. We again. don't have to rehash it. No. No. Save so you it's guys. really six ninety nine if you want. Right. Correct. And when people are buying, you make. The, I did hear you offer that to somebody. Yes, yes, I like did. The seven ninety nine or the. I mean, it was just an offer, you know. Yeah, they took the six ninety nine. They did. As, 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 yes. If I overheard that's, that's correctly. That's smart consumer. Yes. I still charge her seven ninety nine. Well, of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> It's the holiday it. season still, I right? I get rid of all these things. I got rid of all those things. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, we also have an extra. An you, extra. you did. You brought something yes, here. Yes, I did. Aside uh, from my. So we have some the, Australian Wagyu ribeye. That came out oh, of my, my stocking, right? Yeah, it was. It was clearly in your stocking. That's why I got to pick all the all the threads off of there. Uh, no, this is uh, Australian Wagyu ribeye. So that's beef. This is beef ribeye. Yes. Very yes. marbled. Very, very marbled. So, marbled. so this is more marbled than any uh, USDA prime, which is the which is the highest grade. They grade it by the the amount of marbling in here, which is the marbling is the fat. Um, and so this is has more marbling in it than uh, USDA prime ribeyes would be graded. Um, they grade it an A5. Okay. On a so scale of. On a scale of. Something. One to five. One five. <laughs> one to five. Yes. Yes. Um, do we know so how, it's about the highest how they get this that you, um, by what the by what the animal eats? By what they, don't they also? Yes. Do the animals get massages, or they, is that just a so? Myth? I think that's I think that's just a myth. That's I a think myth. with the maybe with the Kobe beef, which okay. is a, which is a, kind of an off breed of the Wagyu, right? Okay. Where the Wagyu is off of the of the, off the Kobe. And this is the, a prime rib here. That's a, a ribeye. That's yes. a ribeye. Yes. A ribeye. Yes. Exactly. Okay. Uh, so those are sixty nine ninety nine a pound. Six, six ninety nine a pound. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Sixty nine ninety nine a pound. Okay. Yes, not six oh. ninety nine. Oh, but you know, New Year's—that's nice celebration, right? Correct. There. Correct. And the nice thing about with having so much marbling is you don't need as much of a of a serving. So I typically <laughs> would would say about a twelve ounce serving because it's so rich, and you're going to be full a lot quicker than you would be on a normal choice or even prime prime grade. Real so high. does that mean you get thinner ones? Yes. Okay. Yes, because they're so big, um, a little bit thinner. A little thinner. Um, we've had these before, and people just people really really like them. Um, so I just wanted to they're throw that out there. Yes, they're very yes. filling. Yes, they're rich, so so they're they're more filling. But you than can still have that in a lobster tank. You but can. Maybe yes. the five to six ounce lobster tail. Correct. Yeah, or I would two suggest. of those. Or two of those, or two of those and them. hold the rock lobster yeah. tails. Yeah. Very nice. Any yes. other surprises? You have been yes. full of surprises. How about that. Anything else? Sorry, I was late. That's the that's my <laughs> you weren't going to tell me this anyway. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over special days. Yes, because they're coming up. More special days. More special days today. Then Wednesday, today. the 27th, National Fruitcake Day. Would you call me? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a fruitcake? Uh, I, I've looked at plenty of them. I've looked at plenty too. Yeah. I don't think I've ever had one that I, I remember liking. That's for sure. But uh, apparently today's the day for them. I, I think it happens every year because it, everyone, you, oh, we've only you got look at the same one every <laughs> single right. year. We have a finite number of fruitcakes and we just switch. <laughs> yeah, right, that your grandma made. 
tomorrow, Thursday, December 28th, National Chocolate Candy Day, and here I have a lot of chocolate candy. I thought that was and every if, day. If you think it's going to last till tomorrow, you're wrong. Yes. This Sadly Saturday, mistaken. very important, December 30th, Bacon Day. Bacon Day. It didn't say National Bacon Day, and I think I've we've had seen National, National Bacon, bacon day. day. This Saturday is Bacon Day. Right. Of course, every day is Bacon Day. Yeah, I Every agree. day is Chocolate Candy Day. I agree. This Sunday, December 31st is, of course, New Year's Eve, but also, did you know this, National Champagne Day. Makes sense. Champagne. Yes, because many people ring in the New Year with a glass of the bubbly stuff. Do you? No. No? no. Okay. This okay. Monday, January 1st, do you? No. <laughs> Is New Year's uh, Day, of course. Actually, I do, kind of, because I, I, I kind typically of have a, a... Pardon? Different kind of bubbly? Well, this is Miller High Life, is the champagne of beers. Oh. And so I always bubbles. have one of those. Yeah. Yes. Happy New that's Year, a, Luke. That's Happy a New Year. Yeah, right. Monday's the first New Year's Day, but it is also National Hangover Day, which I know you will celebrate. Huh. And National Bloody Mary Day, which you might celebrate. I've seen you drink a Bloody Mary. So yes. I know you don't, you're not opposed to them. Uh, correct. Well, I think those two coincide with each other because yeah, a lot of people say, dog. yes, right. Hair of the dog. Hair of the dog. I don't know where that, we'll have to, if you're asking me where that came from, I don't know. <laughs> Hair of the dog that bit you, I think, is the, yes. the whole thing. Yes. So, uh, what does that why? mean, though? It helps you get over your hangover for oh, some reason. Oh, why don't they just <laughs> say that? Supposedly, it's a lie, though. It's a lie. <laughs> it is a lie. Just get right back on the horse. We did a giveaway last week. We did, yes. We had a give. We had a contest. We had a contest. We yes. Give it away this week. The prize. Right. Do you remember the prize? Uh, half gallon of <laughs> yes. Half, say that all. Yeah, apple cider. That, what kind? Uh, Trappers Creek Acres. Trappers Creek Acres apple cider. Yes, the and, stuff we just got in low. Uh, we asked for comments. Uh, uh, it was the favorite Christmas tradition. Oh, okay. Christmas. Yes. Uh, Karen said, "Oh, you should pick a winner. Go ahead, right here on camera, and yeah. we'll read that one last." That's. Oh, yeah, right there. Just, uh, just yeah. these here? Mm -hmm. uh, let me. That's one right here. Okay. Okay. Karen says, Merry Christmas. My favorite part of Christmas is simply being with all of my family. That's all I need. I bet you'd agree with that. Uh, 100%. 100%. Yes. yes. Uh, Patrick said, such a ham. Now, I'm assuming he's talking to you. No. I, it has to be. No, you were wearing specify. the ho 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 jacket. Oh yeah, that's you right. You never stop talking. That's right. We'll have to ask Patrick. <laughs> who are you talking to, Patrick? Can you specify? Sharon, and if it's me, don't specify. <laughs> Sharon says my favorite part of Christmas is making Christmas cookies with my husband of 37 years. Ooh. FYI, we just were at Jacob's Saturday for the first time. We laughed a lot. At the prices? At me? <laughs> Surely not. Surely? Surely? No, Sharon. Saturday. Wasn't that the the the, the barbershop the quartet? Quartet and uh, Santa Claus was here. I, I'm assuming it was the. Yeah. Oh, that was probably the Saturday before. Yeah. So this was the Saturday prior. But see, there are people who, the first time. That's why you tell them where right. we're located, so they right. can actually come to the store. I'm sure she came in here because of BSTV. Uh, Butcher Show. Let us know, Sharon. Let us know, please. Yeah. Yes. And Jared, uh, who is the winner. Right. Jared has won the half gallon of Trapper Creek's Acres, Trapper's Creek Acres apple cider. Is that why you wanted me to say it? <laughs> yes, I, I've been practicing. <laughs> Doesn't work. Jared says, I use Apple Maps over Google Maps, way more accurate. We did talk about that. We did. I mentioned that Google Maps had your correct hours in it and it still right. does. Correct. Uh, because of this, I'm going to try Apple Maps for a week. I think I will I'm too. See when it first came out, it wasn't very good. And, and so I made that decision right away. Right. But I think they've improved it a lot. And I know many people who are using it, so I'm going to try it. I'll have to reinstall it's, it. It's on my <laughs> It's on my phone. Would you like to do, you already said yes, but we didn't have time to talk about what the prize for right. this week is going right. to be. So Did you make it up. Yeah, let's make it up. Uh, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, a Nerf football, perhaps? Uh, I Some think chocolate it's candy? these uh, <laughs> chocolate candies. No, uh, I think we should... Uh, how about a, a two pounds of bacon? Two pounds of bacon. For bacon two day, not national bacon day, just bacon. bacon day. And to enter, please put a comment here below this video, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook. What shall whether I you say? watch on YouTube or Facebook? Yeah. That's what you want to comment? N no, they can comment in either or both places. I don't care. Okay. Ordinarily, you put this on Facebook after right. the fact. And many people watch on Facebook. They do. Uh, but we don't know what we're asking for. 
What were you going to say? I wasn't going to say anything. I was going to say, and now I'll turn it over to Luke, <laughs> who's going to tell you what to comment on. Uh, New Year's. Do you, yeah. do you res resolve? What's your resolution? Oh, yeah. Do what's you even your, make them? Your news yeah. And uh, so that's part one. And part two is how long do they typically last? Uh, apparently, the second Friday in January is Quitter's Day. Oh, really? I've already looked it up. Okay. <laughs> do, you make, do you make New Year's Absolutely. resolutions? Absolutely. Do you do? Yeah. Is it always the same one? No. Oh, okay. Oh, this year was lose 10 pounds, and oh. I've only got 15 to go. <laughs> I, think, you? I, think I'm the, I think that's the same with me. Uh, yeah. I don't usually make them make them. Okay. But it is a new year, so you kind of say, maybe this will happen this year. Maybe I can right. make that happen. Here. Right. Even if it's not a true I resolve. I think it's maybe a time of, the, uh, it's a time of self-reflection and, you know, like, what, what can I do better for myself, my body, my family? In life. In life. In general. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a, a year-end reflection. Right. An audit, some people call it. Sure. And then think about how we might do better in the future. Right. And maybe people call that a resolution. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't, so. because as soon as it's a resolution, it's too much pressure. To right. <laughs> of course, yeah, especially never get anything the, done. the second Friday. You're right. Right. Uh, that's all I've got. You got anything else? That's Any all other I've... surprises? Uh, um... We should say Happy New Year. Oh, gosh. She's going to no, go. No. <laughs> No, no more surprises. No more surprises. Until Happy next New Year. Year. Are you going to celebrate New Year's? Uh, well, I'll, 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 yes. Uh, I have no plans. You have no plans. No plans. Okay. I'll tell you Me what either. I really like to do for New Year's. Yeah. Is be asleep. At New Year's. Yeah. Right on the stroke of midnight. Yeah. So do you do like so when when our kids were younger, what we would do was go on YouTube and do like a ball drop at nine o'clock or ten o'clock because we didn't want them to stay up so late. So got used to it now. You, you can't stay up. Now, now, now I do it for myself at about 10 o'clock. Ah. Yeah, it's, it's like the, you know, I can see the ball drop and everything like that. But yeah, anyway. No, uh, uh, no. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I like don't. my sleep. Yeah, <laughs> and, right. And the lack of hangover. And the lack of hangover. <laughs> yeah, right. I do like a lack of hangover. Right. Uh, I might go have a drink. But generally, I'm in bed long before midnight. Sure. And, and when I wake up, it's a new year. It, imagine that, just, huh? Just like that. Let's, let's hope that happy happens new this year, year to each and every one of you. Yes, happy new year. Take it Thank away. Thank you Luke. very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back again next Wednesday at 10:30 a.m. ish uh, with another live broadcast. Of we'll be, back, Shop we'll be television. back next year. You should. Say. Next year, yeah. See you I next don't know year. why it said next <laughs> Wednesday. Uh, please like this video uh, and su consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, just like a lot of people have already. We uh, uh, are open Monday through Saturday, typically, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. We mention the New, uh, the new Year's hours. Um, come visit us at the store at the corner of Law and Pacific in beautiful Appleton, Wisconsin. Beautiful. Yes. Happy New Year. Yes. Happy New Year. Bye.